click on people's heads. Haha, <laughs> very funny joke. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, I'm going to be showing you a few quick and easy ways you can improve your aim in Destiny 2. So first things first, we're going to head over to the video settings and change a few things around. So first thing here, probably going to play, want to play in full screen mode. Uh, your game is going to be the most responsive in full screen mode. Uh, least amount of input lag. In borderless windowed, it's going to look pretty much the same and easier to alt tab and stuff, but it's just going to have a little bit more input lag. So if you want the most responsive game, full screen. Next up, we are going to hit up resolution. So this one's more up to you. Uh, clearly, the lower you go, the more of a potato your game is going to look like. I would say pick a resolution that you can tolerate the best and still get uh, the higher frames. All right, V-Sync, you're going to want to turn that off, uh, no question. Um, frame rate cap off. Uh, yeah, turn that off. The field of view is more up to you. I like to play just all the way maxed. Uh, mostly because of shotgunners and stuff like that that'll jump over your head. It's easier to see them. You have more screen um, to see them, so that's up to you though. Getting into uh, the video settings here, I pretty much play on everything as low as possible, and the reason for this, just higher FPS, that's literally it. Um, if you do not like playing in full potato mode, there are a few things that you can change to still get really high frames and the game won't look like total trash. So you can go ahead and change the texture quality to maybe medium or high I would say and that will make the game look slightly better or you can put on anti-aliasing and um, that will sharpen up some of the edges and you'll still get higher uh, FPS like with maybe one or two of those on but I prefer them to just all be off so I can get the highest possible FPS. So on the controls I usually play uh, very low sensitivity uh, in-game sensitivity. This one isn't completely important. What is more important is your DPI on your mouse. So if you want to have the most precise aim definitely the lower DPIs are gonna help you do this. I personally play on 800, but I'd say anywhere between 400 to 1200, um, just lower DPIs is going to help you be more precise. This aim smoothing feature here, I am convinced, does basically nothing, so I would just turn that off. So the next thing we are going to want to do is switch up our loadout. So we are going to want to switch to weapons that require precision and accuracy in order to stay alive. So these type of weapons are going to include hand cannons, slug shotguns, and snipers. So these weapons are going to force us to aim pretty much or we die. Um, some weapons uh, in Destiny give you a lot of free kills for being a potato. I'm not going to mention those weapons, but we're going to stay away from those. So out of the hand cannon, slug shotguns, and snipers, there are some weapons, of course, that we do not want to use, and those are the super, super meta weapons, such as um, like the Ace of Spades and the Thorn. And I think you shouldn't use these because they are too easy to use compared to other hand cannons. And I probably left one OP hand cannon out, and that would be the Luna's How and the Not Forgotten. Now, I think you definitely should practice with these. I know they are uh, OP in some people's eyes, but they require precision in order to actually be useful. So I think practicing with these is just fine. So with your new settings and newly equipped weapons, you're gonna wanna head over to Quick Play and play some PvP. So your thought process when you are playing with these weapons is, you are going to focus heavily on only hitting headshots, and if you hit body shots, you should feel as if you are a scrub. Well, don't really feel super bad for not hitting headshots, but you definitely want to focus on it. Um, it's not going to happen in one game. You're going to have god aim. It's going to take a lot of repetition and muscle memory. The main thing that's going to build when using uh, these weapons is your muscle memory. Uh, from using them 
and over an extended period of time of using this, you're going to just start being very precise and just naturally hitting headshots. That's just how it's going to work. If you really want to focus on this idea of hitting headshots and chaining headshots, um, if you are a hunter and you want to play middle tree um, spectral blades subclass, then you can do that. The neutral game is what you want to focus on here with this. As you can probably see in the gameplay of what I've been doing, uh, chaining headshots and seeing people through walls, and it really helps uh, improve your aim because you just focus on hitting only headshots. I know you'll feel like a total scumbag for using spectral blades, and people will probably view you as a scumbag for doing so because spectral blades are super broken. But the neutral game on this with the crouching and landing precision kills is going to greatly uh, help you get that muscle memory down and keep chaining headshots. But that is not a must. Uh, that is just if you want to have some fun while doing this, but I wouldn't completely recommend it. But yeah, uh, keep repeating this over and over, and you will see results in your aim. Hopefully this will help you guys uh, aim like John Wick, and um, that'll be about it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.